glittering career, Jim was often likened to the Reverend I.M. Jolly. Now this comparison didn't get down too well. Ah, that's rubbish. I'm not that grumpy, said the Reverend I.M. Jolly. <laughs> Please welcome Jim McLean. <laughs> Jim, brilliant. Have a seat. How you doing? Oh. Now, Jim, you've got a reputation for no smiling. A wee grin tonight, or Danny to use this. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's better, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> I'll keep that there just in case. How are you? You alright? I'm fine so far. Right. Now, you were smiling before you came out. Could you tell us a good wee April Fool story about Sir Alex, who we just saw there, eh? Uh, a few years ago, well, quite a few years ago, Alec uh, Ferguson phoned me up as he knew I was looking for a scout in Glasgow. So uh, he says, I've got the right man for you. Definitely a good scout. Uh, so he gives me this phone number. He says, uh, the bloke's name's Mr. Lyon. So Julia left the phone, phoned the number, called her part Zoo. I look at my watch and find out it's the first of April, so... <laughs> uh, that was one of the many that he caught us out on. Right, I hate to ask, but what did you date him? <laughs> <laughs> right, now, Jim, I put a smile on her face, uh, just to put a right big smile on your face. Indeed, everybody's here. Just let's get a wee reminder of the glory days. Here we go. I don't think I've ever seen a crowd stand like this for a defeated side. You'd think that Dundee United had won everything. And why not? What a wonderful performance by the crowd. Brilliant. Thank you. Now, there must be a favourite, Jim. I mean, out of all the moments, what was the one that really put a big half grin on your face? I think, honestly, winning the first trophy, uh, there was a director, Mr. Robertson, who'd been with the years uh, with the club for many, many years, and uh, he actually stood in the, the boardroom. As you know, we won the, the first trophy we won was at Dens Park, which was right. uh, quite a happy hunting ground for us. Anyway, and he stood. That's in his good. You got that wee bit in for the Dundee viewers. Well done, Jim. <laughs> Give it right up, them I Carry oh, on. Yeah. I'm only trying to get something of my own back. When I played for them, they got it well up me. <laughs> But anyway, uh, Mr. Robertson was standing uh, next to the, the drinks cupboard and uh, he said to, with tears in his eyes, Jim, I never thought I'd live to see that th uh, this day. And to be honest, uh, it was not the greatest achievement, but to me it is the one memory for me personally. Right. It was magnificent to see a man who had uh, did so much for Dundee United, so happy. And when he started greeting like that, did you fine him for being a big Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> Because that stuff was legendary. I mean, you cuffed us six one. You beat Motherwell a few years back now, but you find the players for not being entertaining enough. See, that's typically you people in the media that uh, you're never accurate. A game, again, by the way. <laughs> a game last ninety minutes, and uh, the first twenty minutes we were rubbish. Right. And uh, all I did was uh, yeah. instead of giving them the full fifty pound, I only gave them thirty pound. Right. And uh, they learnt their lesson, actually, because we again made the cup final. And as usual, when Dundee United meet the cup uh, are in the cup final with me as a the manager, they present the cup before the game. <laughs> right, OK. To the opposition. <laughs> right, but you were, I mean, you were a legendary manager. And uh, when we, we sort of roll back the years a wee bit, I mean, we actually got this for the club. Uh, this is actually, and it's genuine, it's the Dundee United training schedule. Uh, for Jim's time. We got our hands on this and it's fascinating stuff. You were a great manager. Uh, 6 30 a.m. jogging, 7 a.m. sprinting, bit of an early start, Jim. 8 o'clock dribbling, 9 15 a.m. digging ditches, uh, 11 20 a.m. cleaning chimneys, and uh, 12 noon paint the Tay Bridge. I mean, that is a, a tough old day, Jim, frankly. That was Duncan Ferguson's, obviously. <laughs> Was, was, was all that stuff true? I mean, we've all joked about it for 20 years. Were you as hard as that on them? 
digging ditches no, and all that stuff. No, no, that, that, honestly, that was ten times worse than that. Right. <laughs> Right, OK. Now, we, something that we can't uh, fail to talk about now, we've heard about some of your favourite games. Do you have a favourite post-match interview? <laughs> I wonder what you're talking about. <laughs> well, it's just, I mean, you've got a lot in common with Tommy, obviously, both famous for your fists. No. Um, <laughs> you know, do you, we, we'll not talk a lot about that, Jim, but do you regret that incident now? Well, to be completely honest and... Uh, uh, I hope you're going to say I hear by the way. <laughs> right. On my part, it was absolutely stupidity. I should have, uh, as my mother always said, turned the other cheek, but uh, women I just don't listen to, as my wife says. <laughs> right, OK, now listen. Brilliant, you're doing great to know, Jim. You've got a great newspaper column, your own TV shows like this. You must have a great agent, obviously. Uh, but we'll move on, we'll not talk about them. What I'd like you to do is see if you can beat Tommy's record, because you were a great manager, but not a lot of folk know. He was a handy player in his time, Jim McLean, a few older ones, mate. So let's bring the ball back. Moan Jim, down the front, see yeah. if you can beat Tommy. Yeah. Tommy did it, Jim McLean. beat it for three shots. Go for it, Jim, you've got eight to beat. How many takes have we got? You've got one. <laughs> That's that. Class act. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, oh. seven, eight. Oh, look at us, nine, ten, are it? Oh, there you go. Four sacks. Hey, five, done with it. Well done, Jab, brilliant. Yeah. Super. Right, well, now it's time for the offside post bag. Uh, Lennon, Guevara, Trotsky. Can you name the rest of the Dundee team? <laughs> <laughs> well, John McLean. Right. Jim's brother. We'll give you one, two points, okay. Jim. Complete the lyrics to this well-known song for the musical Annie. So, Senator, so, Janitor, so long for a while. You know you're never fully dressed without a... Finny. <laughs> <laughs> Smile! That's <laughs> it! Tommy, in what good one for you? In which year was slavery abolished? Um, 1801. Yes, correct. That was in the UK of 1993 at Tanadice. <laughs> Jim. During your era at Tanadice as manager and chairman, which of uh, these did not happen? Which did the club not beat? Did you not beat Borussia Mönchengladbach 5-0? Did you not beat Italian giant Roma 2-0? Or did you not beat Stenhouse Muir in the final of the Challenge Cup? Stenhouse Muir. Aye, Stenhouse Muir, <laughs> shocking. Tommy, uh, name Tommy Sheridan's favourite musketeer. Uh, Dark Tan one. Dark Tan one, well done, excellent. And Jim. Final question tonight. This is a really tough one for you. Jim, how long do you give Alex Smith at Tanadice? <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll give him Jim McLean. Well done. Right, well done. But Jim, I'm afraid that still wasn't enough. I've followed through, by the way. <laughs> It still wasn't enough because Tommy has won the quiz. Yeah. So a big congratulations to Tommy. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll never love a see you. <laughs> now, Tommy, the prize is always is 20 quid. I know you like redistributing the money uh, to help the poor. Yeah. So earlier, we gave your money to a big issue seller. Right, Here it is. There you go. Thanks a lot, bud. There you go. Now listen, that's for Tommy Sheridan. All right? Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Tommy, and all the best now. There you go. Thanks to Tommy, that's the hand. Oh, All right, there you go. That is this week's well done, that's the hand. Thanks very much to our guests. Superb. Sadly, that is the flag up and offside for another week.